Hello and welcome to the Blue Open Studio tutorial video series. The topic of this video will be getting to know the development environment. In this video, we will be discussing the various parts of the integrated development environment. We'll begin by opening the software. To do this, we go to Start, All Programs, Proface, Blue Open Studio version 8.0, and then BOS version 8.0 Blue Open Studio. When you first open the development environment for Blue Open Studio, the PC demo application will automatically load. This application is beneficial for showing the features and functionality of Blue Open Studio. Uh, we'll get into how to operate and view this application in a later video. The Integrated Development Environment, or IDE for short, is broken up into several different sections. Uh, we have the title bar, which is located at the top, uh, that displays the application name, followed by the name of any active screen or worksheet. We have the application menu which shows a list of any standard Windows application commands like new, open, save. Then we have the quick access toolbar, which is a customizable toolbar that contains a set of commands that are independent from the ribbon menus. The ribbon menu is similar to what you would find in any modern Microsoft application and it combines several different menus into a single user-friendly interface. First, we have the Home tab, which uh, has commands for managing your project within the development environment. For example, uh, finding and replace, the run, stop commands, also your verify, global replace, and your cross-reference. We have the View tab, which is used to customize the look of the development environment itself. For example, if we move some of our windows around or we close them, we can simply click Restore Default to bring them back to where they originally were. We can zoom in on any open screen. We can also list our opened windows and whether we want to close all of them or select which ones to close. The Insert tab is used to insert new tags, screens, or any other components into the opened project. The Project tab of the ribbon is used to configure your project settings. For example, your viewer settings for the runtime, the communication settings of the application, also your security system, or any web access from thin clients. And the Help tab of the ribbon provides any additional help with the software as far as the uh, tech ref or technical reference, the communication driver manuals, uh, what the license agreement is or the about page or the context sensitive, meaning that if we click on this and then we click an aspect of the application, it will open up the help menu or tech ref and bring us to a appropriate page for the aspect that we selected. For example, this brought us to the development environment. Then we have the Project Explorer, which organizes all of the screens, worksheets, and other items of the application into a uh, tree list form and categorizes it into several groups. The first group is the Global tab. Uh, which contains a project tags database, as well as any classes that may have been created. And then, of course, uh, things like your user-defined procedures that are going to be used in scripting and the security system or security feature. And we have the graphics tab, which contains all of the screens or screen groups and symbols that have been created in the project along with your graphics script as well. The next is the Tasks tab, and this organizes worksheets that are processed in the background. For example, your alarms 
or recipes or scripting worksheets. Uh, these are independent of the user interface or the visualization uh, itself. So it does not need the graphical interface to be running or the viewer to be running in order for these to execute. Simply starting the application will cause these to actually run based on their triggers. And then we have the COM tab. And this organizes the worksheets that control communication. For example, any added drivers, which we'll get into in a later video, along with the OPC or TCP IP worksheets or DDE or database type of connections. Then we have the screen worksheet editor, which will display any open screens or worksheets uh, where you can modify or edit the properties of those worksheets. Then we have the database spy, which is a debugging tool that allows you to monitor or write values to project tags or execute and test functions or math expressions, not only in development, but also in runtime as well. We have the output window, which is used to view debugging messages as well as any logging tag changes. Also, it contains the cross-reference tab for any cross-reference searches on tags, the list will show up here. And also any find or replace searches will show up on the find results tab. Then we have at the very bottom, the status bar. Uh, this provides information about any active screen and the state of the application, including the currently loaded license for the software and the current tag count of the opened application. And we'll get into how to manage both the tag count and its importance along with your license in another video. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact ProFace America Technical Support by phone at 1 800 289 9266, option 2, or by email support at profaceamerica.com. You can also visit our website profaceamerica.com for manuals, drivers, product FAQs, and other product and software information. Thanks again, and have a great day.